Good morning children. Welcome back again to the online classes. Again we are going to start your EVS today, the fresh lesson houses we live in. Now everyone need a house to live. So house is one of the basic necessities of our life. We all need a house to live in. A good house will protect us against adversities of weather such as heat, cold and rain. It also gives us a feeling of safety and provides us a lot of comfort. So without a house, we cannot live anywhere. You cannot live more time under a tree, isn't it? You can't live on a bus shelter. You can't live on a railway station. You can't live on an airport even though it's looking so good and, uh, so good and very luxurious. It is necessary that we have to have a house and we should live in that house. Now, the type of house from different regions. So, people in different areas or regions live in different kinds of houses. Now, the house where we live in depends upon our surroundings. The location and the climate of a place, the construction material available locally and the economic conditions of the people determine the type of houses they live in. Houses are made up of different materials. They are of various kinds of types of houses some houses are big while others are very small now if you take different types of houses now if you are living in a very cool temperature the house which we live in should provide us what heat isn't it so according to the climatic conditions available in our surroundings we will build the house according to that now basing on our economic conditions what do you mean by economic conditions the what the financial crisis what you have in the family is called as what according to the salary what you what your parents get according to the income what your parents get our house will be there if you don't have a house what will we do we will pay rent that is we are called as tenants okay so we will take a rented house according to the rent can be paid for us we can what to do we will live in a rented house so according to the economic conditions what do we do is uh, we will build a house let us focus on villages in villages if houses are eco-friendly in nature made by bamboo and mud the houses in villages are mostly built of bamboo with the thatched roofs wall and floor of the villages houses are painted by mixture of dirt grass and gow dung these houses are called as Kacha or mud houses. See, ma, see clearly in the picture. Now, when you have Sankranti Sambaralu in our school also, we have prepared that type of house. So, almost all the houses in the villages will be of the same type. Not nowadays, villages are also having paka buildings, of course. When you go to your olden days, when you go to very, very, very remote areas, you can find uh, that kind of houses. So, that houses will be built because of what? With what, ma? With bamboos and roof just with mud they will prepare the walls with the support of bamboo okay so they will decorate their houses nicely with cow dung before and after rain the houses need a maintenance so most of the people who live in villages are what farmers others works as potters carpenters blacksmith nowadays Pakka houses are also being constructed in villages. They are made up of brick and cement. Now tell me the difference between this mud houses and uh, pakka houses ma. So kacha houses how do they build? How are they built ma? So with the help of bamboos, with the help of mud and they will have a roof which is covered with the grass. Now when you come to houses even though they are constructed in uh, uh, villages or else in cities they are made up of bricks and cement. Now let us focus on cities. So in cities and towns, houses are generally made up of bricks, iron, steel and cement. Once again, ma, in cities, towns and houses are generally built of what? Ma? Bricks, iron, steel and cement. So these are the materials necessary to build a house in city. So, bungalows and multi-storied buildings can be seen commonly in cities. So, each multi-storied building has many houses on uh, every floor. 
each house is called as flat or an apartment now nearby our houses also some multi storied buildings will be there they are called as what apartments okay now you can see in cities the houses are much better some people live in big bungalows while others live in multi tiered flats a uh, flats they are made up of water bricks cement steel and are constructed on the basis of modern architecture so in order to meet the challenge of ever growing population now with an now population is growing very 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 high so the rate of population is increased and the place won't increase how much india is there that much india only will be there but the population is vigorously increased so to meet the growing needs of the population what they are doing is they are constructing building over building building over building building over building this type of houses are called as apartments and if it is very high so many so many stairs are there it is called as skyscraper you can see it in the last picture ma you can see it in the last picture this is called as skyscraper so as it is near to the sky very 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 high okay so it is called as what skyscraper so the skyscrapers are common sight in metro cities like delhi mumbai kolkata chennai chandigarh etc so in uh, such great cities you can find skyscrapers in your nearby in your nearby houses also you can find apartments and you can find pakka buildings nice buildings uh, especially in cities now coming to cold regions cold regions means uh, polar regions polar regions are very cold as the earth covered with ice the cold regions evaithe unnayo mottham full ga ice tho cover ayi untayi they are located in the north of the arctic circle which is far away from the equator equator ki chaala dooranga arctic circle north side lo untay ani cheptunnadu next therefore the eskimos live in the temporary houses called igloos the people who are living in the polar regions means cold regions is called as the eskimos and they lived in the temporary houses called igloos during autumn and winter time making of a circle on the snow is the first step in the construction of igloo what is the first step in the construction of igloo means making a circle ante bhoomi ki paina uparitalam meeda round ga oka circle laaga create chestaru next big snow outside the circle is higher than the floor of a igloo a short passage short passes in front of an inverted bowl shaped igloo is made it means ee igloo lopal ki enter avadaniki oka chinna barley china bowl laaga anamata oka ginna ni etlaithe barley iste untado aa shape lo oka chinna hole ni chestaru dani dwara lopal ki igloo lo ki enter avadaniki use avutundi next coming to the houses of hilly areas in hilly and mountainous regions houses are made up of wood hilly areas mountain areas lo houses ni den tho build chestaru wood tho kadtaru they usually have sloping roofs sloping roofs means one see this nana these are sloping roofs ante eta walu ga untai vi this is because sloping roofs do not allow rain water and snow to collect and make the houses cold and damp enduku anante hilly areas lo ekku rain fall untundi సో అలాంటప్పుడు ఈ స్లోపింగ్ రూఫ్స్ ఏం చేస్తాయంటే ఆ రెయిన్ వాటర్ వల్ల వచ్చిన వాటర్ ఎక్సెస్ వాటర్ని ఏం చేస్తాయంటే ఆ రూఫ్ మీద స్టోర్ అవ్వకుండా రెయిన్ వాటర్ అవని స్నో అవని ఏదైనా ఆ రూఫ్ మీద స్టోర్ అవ్వకుండా వాటిని కిందకి పంపించేస్తాయి అనమాట ఇఫ్ అలా రెయిన్ వాటర్ కానీ స్నో కానీ సేవ్ అయితే పైన హౌసెస్ విల్ బికమ్ వెరీ కోల్డ్ సమ్ ఆల్సో హ్యావ్ ఫైర్ ప్లేసెస్ టు కీప్ ద రూమ్స్ వామ్ and uh, house lo lopala oka place lo fire places ante uh, fire sticks tho nippu pedtaru anamata enduku anante they keep their houses warm now coming to in hot regions deserts and tropical regions have bright mornings and become hot by afternoon in deserts they'll have very bright morning It means early morning is sun route on it loves that a chala short ga chala bright morning manak afternoon it la on to know a lucky morning early morning and the heavy gas sun on tar and it will become very hot by afternoon the nights are very cool and again 
నైట్ టైం వెన్ ఇట్ విల్ బికమ్ నైట్ అప్పటికి మళ్ళీ వెదర్ మొత్తం కూల్గా అయిపోతుంది ద టెంపరేచర్ రైసెస్ టు ఇట్స్ పీక్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద సమ్మర్ సమ్మర్ టైమ్ విల్ హ్యావ్ వెరీ హై టెంపరేచర్ వై బికాస్ ఇట్స్ అ డెజర్ట్ ఏరియా ద హౌసెస్ ఇన్ ట్రాపికల్ రీజన్స్ ఆర్ కన్స్ట్రక్టెడ్ విత్ బ్రిక్స్ అండ్ కాంక్రీట్ సిమెంట్ ఏవైతే హౌసెస్ డెజర్ట్స్లో ఉన్న హౌసెస్ ఏవైతే ఉన్నాయో ద పీపుల్ యూస్డ్ బ్రిక్స్ అండ్ కాంక్రీట్స్ ఫర్ కన్స్ట్రక్టింగ్ దేర్ హౌసెస్ నెక్స్ట్ నోమాడ్స్ నోమాడ్స్ లీవ్ ఇన్ అ టెంపరీ హౌసెస్ నోన్ యాజ్ టెంట్స్ వి ఆల్ నో వట్ ఈస్ అ టెంట్ ఓకే దీస్ హౌసెస్ ఆర్ వెరీ ఈజీ టు క్యారీ వీ కెన్ సీ ఇన్ దిస్ పిక్చర్ దిస్ పర్సన్ దే ఇస్ టేకింగ్ హిస్ టెంట్ ఓకేనా ద క్లోత్స్ ద మేడ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద హెయిర్ ఆఫ్ ద క్యామెల్ అండ్ గోడ్స్ ఆర్ యూజ్ టు మేక్ టెంట్స్ టెంట్స్ ని తయారు చేయడానికి వేటి స్కిన్ యూజ్ చేస్తారంట గోడ్స్ అండ్ క్యామిల్స్ టెంట్స్ ఆర్ ఆల్సో మేడ్ అప్ ఆఫ్ థిక్ క్లోత్ కాల్ క్యాన్వాస్ టెంట్స్ ఆర్ సపోర్టెడ్ బై ద పోల్స్ అండ్ రోప్స్ ఫిక్స్డ్ టు ద గ్రౌండ్ టెంట్ వేయాలంటే ఫస్ట్ పోల్స్ ఫోర్ సైడ్స్ పోల్స్ ని ఫిక్స్ చేసి అప్పుడు ఈ టెంట్ ని వేస్తారు నెక్స్ట్ కమింగ్ టు ఫ్యాక్స్ ఫైల్ బిడాన్స్ ఆర్ కాల్ ద నో మ్యాడ్స్ హూ వాండర్ వితౌట్ పర్మనెంట్ హౌసెస్ దే వాండర్డ్ ఇన్ స్మాల్ గ్రూప్స్ నవ్ కమింగ్ టు రెయిని అండ్ ఫ్లడ్ ప్రోన్ రీజియన్స్ హౌసెస్ బిల్ట్ ఆన్ స్టిల్స్ ఆర్ కామన్ ఇన్ ఏరియాస్ వేర్ ఇట్ రెయిన్స్ హెవీలీ ఇట్ మీన్స్ ఇన్ హెవీ రెయిన్ ఫాల్ ఏరియాస్ పీపుల్ దే బిల్డ్ దేర్ హౌసెస్ ఆన్ స్టిల్స్ హౌసెస్ ఇన్ అస్సాం ఆర్ బిల్డ్ ఆన్ స్టిల్స్ బికాస్ అస్సాం రిసీవ్స్ ద హెవీ రెయిన్ ఫాల్ డ్యూ టు విచ్ దేర్ ఆర్ ఛాన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్లడ్స్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ అస్సాం అస్సాం ఈజ్ ఎ వెరీ హెవీ రెయిన్ ఫాల్ ప్రోన్ రీజియన్ సో దే విల్ బిల్డ్ దేర్ హౌసెస్ ఆన్ స్టిల్స్ స్టిల్స్ మీన్స్ సీరీస్ నాన హియర్ హౌసెస్ ఆన్ ఇక్కడ ఇలా స్టిక్స్లో పైన ఉంది కదా హౌస్ ఈ స్టిక్స్ని ఏమంటారు స్టిల్స్ అంటారు అండ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ అ ఫ్లడ్ వాటర్ ఆర్ రెయిన్ ఫాల్ వాటర్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ ఎ లేక్ ఆర్ ఎనీ రివర్ నాట్ నథింగ్ ఓకే దిస్ ఈజ్ అ రెయిన్ ఫాల్ రెయిన్ ఫాల్ హెవీ రెయిన్ ఫాల్ ఆర్ ఫ్లడ్ వాటర్ సో అవాయిడ్ దిస్ ఫ్లడ్ అండ్ రెయిన్ ఫాల్ దే బిల్డ్ దేర్ హౌసెస్ ఆన్ స్టిల్స్ మీన్స్ ఈ స్టిక్స్ అనమాట నెక్స్ట్ ఇన్ కేస్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్లడ్స్ వాటర్ మైట్ గెట్ ఇన్ టు ద హౌసెస్ ఇఫ్ ద హౌసెస్ ఆర్ బిల్డ్ ఆన్ గ్రౌండ్ లెవెల్ ఇట్ మీన్స్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇఫ్ యూ బిల్డ్ ఇఫ్ యూ దిస్ రెయిన్ ఫాల్ ఏరియా పీపుల్ దే బిల్డ్ దేర్ హౌసెస్ ఆన్ డైరెక్ట్లీ ఆన్ ఫ్లోర్ మీన్స్ ఇఫ్ దే విల్ గెట్ హెవీ రెయిన్ ఫాల్ వచ్చినప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది ఆ హెవీ రెయిన్ ఫాల్ వాటర్ అంతా వల్ల హౌసెస్లోకి వెళ్ళిపోతాయి సో అవాయిడ్ దట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ దీస్ హెవీ రెయిన్ ఫాల్ ఏరియా పీపుల్ వాట్ దే విల్ డూ దే విల్ బిల్డ్ దేర్ హౌసెస్ ఆన్ స్టిల్స్ So, in order to avoid flooding of houses, houses are built on stilts as stilts are above the ground level. They prevent the houses from being flooded. When you come to the regions where there is effect of earthquake, so especially in Japan, you can feel that, you can see that there are more amount of earthquakes in japan region so people in japan live in which kind of houses you know wooden houses okay wooden houses because earthquakes are frequent in japan so what are the benefits if houses are made up of wood in the regions where earthquakes are common normal houses are collapsing cause more damage to the property and life than paper or wooden houses constructing the houses again and again using wood is cheaper than constructing a bricky house so to avoid to avoid what to avoid the loss of property the loss of property damage to the property what do they do is they'll construct uh, houses made up of wood so in india where earthquakes are common such as uttarakhand assam most houses are made up of wood so assam is affected even by rainfall and also by earthquake so in these regions what do they do they'll construct which type of houses ma wooden houses now let us see the factors affecting the size of the house so you can spot mud houses brick houses and havelis in same village similarly you can find multi storied buildings housing complexes bungalows and slums in the same cities and town why is it so 
why there is a variation between house and house even though they belong to the same area even though belong to the same area just because of what you know because of their economic condition what is that ma economic condition so less men money is needed to build small hut but a lot of money is required to construct a, a very big house made up of bricks and cement so according to the money available with them they'll construct their house so when you see your cinema actors you are fans of allu arjun isn't it when you see in youtube's or any channel you can see uh, the houses of allu arjun akkini nagarjuna mega star chiranjeevi how their houses would be so you compare our houses with their houses why do they have so much rich houses why do they have a luxurious life like that why their houses are so luxurious very big why because with one cinema they can get uh, crores of money but our parents will will they get crores of money if they work for a month no so the needs of the houses should be meet with the salary of the parent isn't it so with the little salary what they had they'll store money and they'll do what uh, they'll construct a house so we can't expect our houses to be like allu arjun house mega star chiranjeevi's house akkineni nagarjuna house narendra modi house jagan mohan reddy's house why because they have lot of money so the people who have lot of money they'll prefer a comfortable and a big pakka house whereas where their economic background is very very less obviously they'll construct a small house okay so i hope you understood children so once again i'll repeat for the things what i have discussed for you ma so that there are different types of houses depending upon the region they live depending upon their economic condition of their family okay so in villages you can find kacha house and also you can find a hut so how do they prepare ma they'll prepare with bamboos they'll prepare with the mud with the support of bamboos and mud they'll prepare their house and they'll uh, apply rangoli and make it even though it's a small house make it uh, so colorful so colorful so in apartments you can find brick bed houses apartments bungalows okay and according to that what will happen so for why they are uh, preparing apartments why they are building apartments means why they are building apartments uh, to meet the needs of growing population as population is growing uh, what is not happening india is not increasing its area in that little place only what should we do we have to give provide houses for many people in order to meet the needs of the growing population what is the idea what is the modern architecture given idea is uh, building houses over houses that is called as what uh, an apartment if it is near to the sky very big very long near to the sky it is called as what sky scraper what is that called ma sky scraper now when you go to cold regions what will be there igloos will be there and in that areas which kind of roofs i said sloped roofs will be there in order to avoid rain water or snow to settle on the roofs and in hot regions in hot regions what do the houses they have they have a, a very pakka build uh, they will have uh, houses made up of brick and cement brick and cement and when you come to nomadic life the people who move from one place to another place where they don't have permanent place to live in in order to earn their livelihood uh, some people will wander here and there such kind of people are called as nomads and how do they prepare their houses ma they'll prepare their houses with the help of tents okay with the help of uh, a cloth made a canvas made up of uh, uh, what ma the skin of camel and goats okay with that they'll prepare tents and whenever it is necessary they'll fold it again and they'll move to another place and they'll construct another tent uh, there in the region where they're going to live their livelihood okay and uh, uh, the regions which are exposed to more rains and more floods they'll construct their houses on stilts in order to in order to avoid the flooding of the houses in order to save themselves uh, they will construct their house uh, on the stilts so that rain water will not enter into their houses collapse their houses and in order to avoid the flooding of houses they'll construct their houses on stilts 
when you come to the regions where there is a, a danger mark of earthquakes they'll prepare their houses with uh, wooden wooden blocks because so if they construct with bricks or cement again when earthquake comes when everything collapses it will damage the furniture present inside their house in order to save their furniture in order to save their belongings in order to reduce the loss what do they do they construct wooden houses so if wooden houses blocks also if wooden houses collapse also there will be a very less damage to the property okay and next coming uh, to the factors what is the main factor which affecting the size of the houses uh, what only the economic background i hope you understood the lesson and meet you back with one more important lesson nana take care stay safe